Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips centric with. As you can see, we are fighting in a supreme um, statue which is two hours long and I think it's a good indication how you are actually uh, working in the team simply because uh, whenever you are playing statue, you you only can uh, run one legion per time, uh, which is really important, especially for free-to-play players. Simply because uh, tier five players won't gonna be, have chance to hit you with five legions. Every single player is using one, and that's how you can actually check how you are performing. Right? As I have mentioned before, Walder and Welling has been the best merit getter hero pair for me in the season of stripe and of course we have five legions which we are going to compare each other right uh, i like mages simply because i think having long range having longest range in the game uh, it actually helps you it helps you a lot uh, it's really really easy to survive some battles even as a tier 4 player and well there is a digma that oh, this game is only for pay to wins but i'm trying my best to showcase that even being free-to-play player, you will be able to have a lot of fun. Of course, in terms of targets, whenever you are fighting with these uh, legions, every single troop type have different targets, right? For example, right now, unfortunately, my main target is uh, Goresh and Skolgul. And in terms of new infantry, I think um, there is like always a question, right? Um, new infantry will be better than Goresh and Skolgul or, or how the tier list will actually be pen out right i still think that gorish and skull gold will have like almost exact same use uh simply because mogro and uh, danfell looks like a different play style rather than gorish and skull gold. and i think in general like the i like the mogro skill set in terms of damage and in terms of hp reduction which i think can be amazing especially against infantry heroes right so i sometimes i think that new heroes new infantry heroes are coming out to counter uh goresh and skogul but we are here we're gonna see everything with our own eyes and i'm really really interested if goresh and skogul will be same pop with the same popularity or uh donfell and mogoro will change the tier list of, of infantry players right uh, i think um, goresh and Skolgul will stay and I will explain why, right? Uh, simply because in terms of tankiness and in terms of uh, survivability, I still think that Goresh and Skolgul is much, much better than uh, Donfell and Mogro, right? Mogro is basically more of a damage dealer rather than infantry like tank. And that's why I think um, like we have seen the meta of infantry Goresh and Skolgul, how hard it is to push some alliances and how easy it is to defend if you have a couple of Goresh and Skolgulls, which are like mostly like brick walls, sometimes your only target if enemy alliance has a lot of tan tanks, you, you might only spend time hitting infantry, which is Goresh and Skolgul. That's why if you guys are planning to play as an infantry and you are in a uh, like thinking uh, step where like maybe I will try to awaken Goresh and Skolgul or I will wait for Dawnfell. Uh, and Mogro, I think, um, like, putting skills on uh, Goresh and Skolgul will uh, affect really, really well uh, your infantry hero pairs. And I think if you are infantry player, uh, you will have a lot of uh, uh, use in any alliances. Because I think alliances are looking at infantry players so much that uh, even if you are tier 4 and you have a couple of infantry hero pairs, which you are playing well, I think you will have a lot of success applying in a good alliances right and so far like alliances are determined by having a lot of uh, tier 5 infantry with Goresh and Skull Waken um, that's my opinion regarding the new infantry and new infantry hero pairs which will be meta I think I still think S tier will be Goresh and Skull Ghoul, and um, after that uh, Donfell and Mogro should be the next step right so, like, I hope it's easy to understand. I think Mogro is more of a damage dealer. That's simply why I think Goresh and Skolgul will still be the most tanky hero pair in currently in the game. And 
Besides new heroes, uh, I think uh, Madeline and Garud is number two in terms of pure tankiness, right? Uh, but yeah, the difference is really, really high. I think you have not, you should not even ask which hero pair is the best one in terms of infantry players. Yeah, so far, unfortunately, in this fight, I have to click mainly on infantry players. Uh, that's why my merits might look really low. But what can we do, right? We have uh, more of a range units on a back line. And if you're going to make an overstep whenever you are fighting, especially against tier 5 players, uh, you are going to die, which means you won't be able to generate more merits for Legion. And of course, um, if you are killing more troops <coughs> during statue fight, uh, you are getting more and more points, which is really, really helpful. Uh, of course, my aim is to get yellow merits, especially with the, the mages. That's always the number one uh, goal whenever I'm fighting, and I think you, that's why you guys are watching, right? Everybody wants to have as much yellow merits as possible from every single legion, and I'm trying my best to do that with as a free to play player fighting against tier 5s, right? So I think this should be interesting, and every fight which I'm trying to show the gameplay. Like every every each video has its own story, which is I'm a free-to-play player. I'm fighting against tier fives and I'm getting yellow merit scores, and that's the general like a, a type of content I'm trying to show. That even if you are not spender, I'm pretty sure you will be able to get merits and you will be able to have fun if you are making some correct decisions inside the game. Right? Unfortunately. Simply because almost every single legion which I'm clicking is tier 5 player, I'm receiving high amount of counter attack damage, which is normal uh, in our case. Right now, it's a great moment for us to touch backline and maybe do some little bit more backline damage, which is always the highest damage you can deal, like especially be a mage. Um, clicking other mage and dealing damage to that troop is much better run even if we're gonna compare it to the archers archers are giving us a lot of counter attack damage which is really really effective during P and yeah wolder and Wellin are receiving a lot of counter attack damage unfortunately but i think we did amazingly like we have not even gotten targeted really much and yeah that's the general my own style which i uh, made for myself which i feel comfortable playing with i understand uh, having low amount of troops in the legion, it will give me more uh, severely wounded troops and my, my legion will deal way less damage. But yeah, that's my gameplay. I, I love to fight until the end. And yeah, I have gotten a lot of advices regarding that playstyle. But yeah, as you can see, guys, I'm going to continue playing with the style which I'm feeling most comfortable. That's the way I am. And yeah, I think finally my... Waldir and Welling will be going home, which is like good time in my opinion, and I think the merits should be fine in this legion, right? And here I'm going to uh, bring my Nico and Kinara, which is I think the strongest uh, hero pair I currently have, um, uh, and I have uh, Awakened Kinara, which is my only legendary hero which I have Awakened, and my Nico is 5 at the Legion of Renating Blessing. In this skill, 5-5-3-3 five, five, three, three. Rattle Spear, and that's my Snow Peak Rock. And <clears throat> let's see if I will be able to get yellow merits from the archers. Uh, like after removing long range warfare, there was a lot of conversation that archers were nerfed so much that they were useless, and I totally disagree. I think archers are in a perfect spot. We have more targets during the fights. I understand having less mage means that we are hitting less mages, but it, it doesn't mean that we are not going to get more merits as the archer players. Uh, this hero pair is more of a skill damage factor dealer, like physical, uh, and mainly whenever I'm fighting archers, um, my main targets are infantry, some cavalry, and also archers. Let's try, let's see uh, if we're gonna perform in the same way as we did on the Waldir and Welin. And as always, there is a good way of uh, like feeling competitive and comparing um, archers to mages. Like both of the hero pairs I run was free to play friendly, and you guys will have a better understanding 
how some of the hero pairs are working because you can actually see that uh, by your own eyes how the gameplay works in certain situations i think we are doing amazingly in the in the statue and finally my nico and Tikara are in the battlefield okay so my best mage legion is we are comparing my best mage legion to my best archer legion and let's try and let's see what would be the difference between these two hero pairs which is always interesting right like and these are like two ranged um, uh, troop types which are in co competition from the day one at first people were saying mages are just too good to not play with and after like long range warfare was here a lot of players turned to archers but we removed long range warfare now it's time to uh, to everybody to play with the mages all right as soon as i'm going to clean up these infantry heroes i will be able to have some like free time hitting some ranged ones which i think if you are archer your main 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 target should be to, get, to deal damage to the backline and that's the highest amount of uh, merits you will be able to get if you are fighting uh, ranged units right unfortunately i got targeted and i think uh, it will be easy for me to remove this target yeah like as soon as you have a free time hitting mages, you have to just be happy, right? That's generally not always gonna happen. Uh, but still, you have to try because like, if you are only clicking mages and you can actually deal damage to them, I'm pretty sure every single archer legion will going to have yellow merits at the end of the fight. Um, unfortunately, Goresh and Skolgul meta is still visible. Um, and I think we're gonna have these two infantry players as our main targets for quite a while. Even next season, I think main tanks will be Goresh and Kolgu. In terms of total points, um, we are going ahead and I think we should be the winners of this uh, statue fight. But let's see, let's just not uh, overreact because there is still a lot of time until we're gonna decide who is winner and who is not. Right, of course, they are sending more infantry, which is normal whenever they see that they are losing any fights. Means like they have a simple solution: bring more infantry, and everything will be totally fine. Um, hitting Garwood is much better than Skogul and Goresh, and that's why <clears throat> I will keep my target uh, and I will try to deal as much damage as possible. Also, while playing archers, don't forget that. You are dealing quite a good counter-attack damage. That's why <clears throat> you can even keep targets for a couple of seconds in order for your legion to deal more counter-attack damage, especially if you are getting damaged by the mage player. Trust me, even tier 4 um, counter-attack damage of the archers, especially Nico Kinara and Hosk and uh, Kinara is dealing huge, huge, huge amount of damage, which you should not miss out, I think. I get more uh, merits from the archers whenever at least once or twice I got hit by the player and they receive my counter-attack damage to themselves. Um, it's amazing that they are moving forward and I have some kind of free time hitting uh, enemy backline but yeah, as soon as I move one uh, step forward, trade up, I'm getting targeted and I'm pretty happy because if even if they will deal damage to my legion, uh, well they will get damage to them themselves, that's the trick about archers, right? You can be a really, really tanky a troop type, which is not only a physical damage dealer, but also a great, great a tanky legion, which is dealing damage by simply hit counter-attack to enemies back. Right now we are dealing damage to mage player, which is amazing, I think more we're gonna do that. It will be amazing for our merit report, which I'm always looking forward to. Um, I have already the results of my mages and I already know how they performed um, and it will be a great chance for us to just simply compare uh, my best legions um, from the mages section and from the archer section, right? Because Walder and Wellen is my best mage and Nico and Ra is my best archer. Alright, we still have uh, archer, we still have infantry players as our main target but that's totally fine, they are going to die really really soon and maybe I will make some extra moves to just click on backline and let's try to do that. Uh, right now it's a new occasion when we have more infantry than enemy and we plus have 
some more damage to enemy backline. But I think this hero pair should be able to get yellow merits because we even had some uh, free hits on uh, ranged units which are mages and also I got I should have done quite a good amount of damage to the infantry players because of, because of the uh, damage reduction in general Nico and Dinara has especially infantries are having a lot of debuffs uh, when like Nico hits 30% or 20% uh, defense reduction is a good amount of defense reduction in my opinion I think right now we have low amount of troops and we kind of have to be more aggressive like moving forward inch by inch which means uh, we might get targeted which is totally fine I think right now is a great moment to just go home because our legion is that low right so right now we can already uh, compare Walder to Welling um, uh, we can compare Nico and Tinara and well simply because Phoenixa is dealing more damage to multiple legions and uh, simply because Walder is dealing damage to three nearby legions that's the main reason why I think mages are doing, doing better like, so, for example Walder dealing damage to three nearby legions Lilia should be also amazing in season of stripe because uh, Awakening Scale is dealing damage to two nearby legions, so, so any mage which is dealing damage to multiple legions should be quite good in Season of Stripe. I'm, I'm always trying my best to showcase as much PvP gameplay as possible in Call of Dragons and I hope guys you are enjoying it, right? If you are, press like, subscribe, comment, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to make more uh, videos for this game. I wish everybody amazing morning, day or night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other soon. Bye bye and good luck.